Rise and Shine Superstars, it's your favorite like Coach M. B. And today is a great day to be alive because you are still here. You know what to do. Comment below. Scream at the top of your lungs. Stop whatever you're doing. Come through if you are thankful that God woke you up this morning because gratitude is the absolute best way for you to start your day. And if you're not thankful this morning, then I need you to find one reason why you should be. Because you're still here for a reason. You have a purpose. You just got to find out what it is. Why are you still here? You're here to make a difference. So seek that out today. Don't make a permanent decision based off of a temporary situation because whatever you're going through right now, it's not going to last. Hold on. You're going to make it through. Y'all, it's Friday. It's Friday. Let's go. TGIF. Man, look, that means tomorrow is Saturday. It's the weekend. We made it. We made it. Look, mama, I made it. Is that how you feel? Is that how you wake up on your Friday? Like, yes, it's Friday. Let's go. Weekend, come on, let's go. Do you go to bed Sunday night dreading to wake up because the next day is Monday and you got to start your week all over again? Do you wake up Monday morning like, okay, it's Monday. Here we go. It's another Monday. We just got to make it to Friday. Tuesday, you wake up. Okay, we made it through Monday. We just got to make it to Friday. Wednesday, you wake up. You get a little more energy. Okay, it's hump day. Okay, once today is over, we, we down here from there. It's Thursday. Thursday is Friday Eve. Let's go. And then you get to Friday and you're excited because now you get to have a break. You get to take a couple of days off from exchanging your valuable time for someone else's dream. If that's how you feel today, if that's how you're living every week for your life right now, it's because your life is being driven by pleasure and not purpose. See, when your life is driven by purpose, you wake up every single day with the Friday mindset. You wake up every single day with that same outlook, with that same spirit, with that same excitement, with that same energy, because you know that today you have another opportunity to do something great. You have another opportunity to get better at what you were created to do and to go give it to the world in only the way that you can give it to us. But when you're living, when your life is being driven by pleasure, you're living for the weekend. You're living for something that's not sustainable. Well, I know you're like, hold up, hold up, wait. You might be thinking, I'm not li my life is not being driven by pleasure right now because it is not pleasurable for me to wake up, drive across town, and go work for somebody else. With people I don't like, doing stuff I don't want to do, like, there's nothing, I don't, I don't find pleasure in that. Okay, so let's, let's just take a moment to think about what pleasure is. Because right now you're thinking of pleasure from the definition and the standpoint of what feels good to you. But there are multiple definitions of the word pleasure. We just have to, I need you to understand what we're talking about here. See, we've conditioned ourselves that once we got out of grade school and high school and college, if we went, we've learned enough. We know enough. Like, that's what that's our mentality. For the most part, most of us aren't seeking to learn more when it comes to understanding. We might want to learn more about what other people are doing and how other people are living their lives and what new things somebody created that's going to benefit my life. But understanding, we don't really seek that out too much. But the Bible says in Proverbs 4, 7, and in all thy getting, get understanding. See, we should be living a life where we are seeking more understanding. We constantly want to understand more. So let me just help you understand the word pleasure, not from a feeling standpoint, but just another definition, just another perspective. Let's shift how we look at this word. Pleasure can be defined as a state of gratification. And I know you like, well, I'm not, what kind of gratification? I'm not really grateful for driving across town to go work for somebody else at a job I don't like around people I don't like who get on my nerves. Okay. Gratification can be defined as having satisfaction or pleasure. 
Okay, and you just saying the same thing. Okay, yeah, listen. Two synonyms for pleasure are satisfaction and contentment. Okay, Coach M, I'm trying to keep up with you right now, but you're giving me an English lesson and we're supposed to be talking about pleasure and purpose. I'm giving you the English lesson because I need you to understand what pleasure is. I need you to understand why your life is being driven by pleasure right now. You're being driven by pleasure because you're satisfied and you're content. Remember yesterday we talked about comfort and commitment and how if you're truly uncomfortable in a situation, you're going to do whatever it is you need to do to get out of there in a hurry. Like you're not going to sit around and see what's going to transpire. If you're at an outing or something and folks start running and you hear yelling and shouting and banging sounds, you're not going to sit around and see what's going to transpire. You're, trying, you're uncomfortable enough to move. You know, if you're at a restaurant and somebody releases a snake, <laughs> you're not going to sit there and keep eating. You're going to get up, knock everything over to get out because you're uncomfortable enough to make a move. But right now, you're still being driven by pleasure because you're satisfied and you're content. You're not uncomfortable enough to get up and move. The pleasure in your life is causing you to place limitations on your own requirements for yourself, on your own beliefs, on your own actions, on your own desires. You're still waking up and going to that job you don't like because it pays the bills, because it gives you insurance, because you get a little money to spend on the weekends. You're placing limitations on your own desires, requirements, and actions and staying in the body you don't like because it's still good enough to get you around. You're pl placing limitations on your own requirements, on your own desires, on your own actions, and staying in that unhealthy relationship because it gives you someone to sleep next to at night. Or someone to talk to during the day. You're placing limitations on your own requirements, on your own desires, on your own actions. And staying in a life of unhappiness and pain because you're familiar with that pain. There's a certain level of comfort in that pain. And because of that level of comfort, you're satisfied and you're content. But you're not seeking a life that you say you want because you're committed to pleasure. And now I'm about to shift this. See, before we were talking about pleasure of satisfaction and contentment. Now I want us to focus on the pleasure that you were thinking about before. The temporary feelings of happiness and joy and feel good. Those are all distractions. Those are all things that are preventing you from actually doing what you need to be doing to get to the life of your dreams, to live out the purpose that you were here for, to have the things that you want. All those temporary pleasures, weekends with friends, happy hours, alcohol, smoking, clothes, hair, nails, unhealthy eating habits, all of these temporary pleasures. Spending money that you don't even have yet and charging it, putting it on credit. All of these temporary pleasures are distracting you from being focused on your purpose. Because if you were being driven by purpose, the temporary pleasures wouldn't even weigh so much. I mean, it would look cute, maybe. <laughs> but it's not as amazing and beautiful as that life that you're pursuing. You don't get caught up in the temporary when, you're, when your mindset is on purpose. When your mindset is on how do I make the most out of what I have today and get myself closer to what I want tomorrow. See, you're still operating from a YOLO mindset. <laughs> You've been out of college for how long? And you still talking about YOLO. Let's go. You only live once and you want to have, you want to maintain a turn up lifestyle like like, that's supposed to be non-stop. Non-stop turn up is what you want. But you shouldn't be operating from a YOLO mindset. You should be operating from a YOGO mindset. 
Don't worry, I'm explaining because I just made it up. What is your goal? You only get one. Now, there's a difference. It may look subtle, but it's huge. Remember we talked about that one degree? There's a huge difference between you only live once and you only get one. What if I told you like we walked into we walked into whatever store you wanted to walk into any store. I was like, yo, OK, listen, I got you. I got you. You trust me. You trust me. OK, listen, you can have whatever you want in this store, whatever you want. Now, we're in whatever store you want to be in. If you still on Walmart mindset, then we in Walmart. You know, if you in Macy's, you in JCPenney's, you in some fancy store somewhere, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, wherever you want to be. And I tell you, you get you can have whatever you want in the store. Where are you? Visualize yourself there. We just walk through the door and you sitting here looking at everything around on all the walls and all the shelves. And you getting excited. And you like anything? And I say, yeah, you can have anything in here you want. You already making up in your mind. I can have anything. Shoot, I'm trying to get it all. And then I look at you and I say, but you only get one dollar. <laughs> Talk about a brick wall. But you just told me I could have anything. I'm like, yeah, you can. You can have absolutely anything you want. But you only get one dollar to spend. Some of y'all might have to walk out of the store because there's the tissue in the shoes ain't even a dollar. You can't even buy the shoe tissue for a dollar. And some of y'all might be in a store where you can buy something for a dollar, but you can really only spend 90 cents because of taxes. Or I take you to this electronic store or somewhere, wherever you want to go. And anything on the top shelf you can have. And you're like, anything? Yeah. Are you going to fool me with that dollar thing again? No, no, you can have anything. It doesn't matter how much it costs. You can have anything on the top shelf, but you only get one hand to get it down and you look back up at the top shelf and you like but I need two hands I need two hands for everything that's up here yeah but you only get one hand you see the difference there you see how going from you only live once so let's turn up all the time to you only get one life how much more valuable is that to you now how much more important is it to you like you're not coming back around this way again you only get one you only get one opportunity. You only get one life to wake up and take advantage of every opportunity that's in that day. You only get one life to change your mindset. You only get one life to discover your purpose. You only get one life to chase your goals and dreams. You only get one life to live out and find out who you were meant to become. You only get one life to make a difference. You only get one life to, to leave an impact on this world. You only get one life to spend with your daughter. You only get one life to have another dinner with your mom. You only get one life to have another dinner with your dad. You only get one, one second, one minute, one day, one life. Luther Vandross has a song that says, dance with my father again. What if you woke up and the person that you feel you love the most didn't wake up with you? You woke up today and 200,000 people in this world did not. You only get one. What would you say? Oh, I just want one more day with them. That's what I say. My mom is gone. She's not coming back. I just want one more day. You only get one. One life. One opportunity. One chance to take everything that's in you and get it out of you. To go after the life of your dreams. To chase the goals that you say you want. To do the things that you say you want to have. To be committed to the process so that you can live the purpose. You only get one life. Why are you wasting it? Why are you waking up with the audacity that there's going to be another tomorrow? You say you want this body. You say you want this job. You say you want this business. You want this book. You want this dream. You want this car. You want this house. You want this family. You want these relationships. You want this marriage. You want your children to have this. You only get one. Stop wasting it. Wake up and be great. I don't just say it because it sounds cute. There is greatness in you that you have to tap into and get it out. 
because you're not going to get another chance at this. You're not going to get another chance at today. Whatever you can take advantage of today, whatever adversity you can take advantage of today, take advantage of it. Whatever obstacles you can have to see the opportunities in today, see the opportunities in them. Commit to commitment and let go of the comfort. Pursue the passion and let go of the pleasure. Pursue the purpose and let go of the pain. What is it that you say you want that you're still not committed to doing whatever it takes to get to it? It takes what it takes. And if you want it bad enough, then you're not going to be complacent. You're not going to be satisfied and content with flying below the radar. With putting your own limitations on your requirements and your own desires and your own goals and your own actions. Anything is possible if you would just get up and go after it and do it. Just try it. Just try. See what happens. Just try to save one dollar today. Just try to write one paragraph today. Just try to do one push-up today and see what happens. Don't be committed to comfort. Be committed to commitment. Don't be driven by pleasure. Be driven by purpose. What is your purpose? Find it out and chase it. But if you don't remember anything else, always remember this. It is absolutely a great day to be alive. It is absolutely a great day to be great. And it is absolutely a great day to find the greatness in you. Now go out there and live the greatest day of your life.